India's federal investigators are said to have summoned Air Asia Group Chief Tansri Tony Fernandez. Citing a police source, Reuters reports that they want to grill him over allegations that the carrier broke rules while obtaining a flying license in the country. According to the Newswire, Fernandez is alleged to have lobbied government officials to secure mandatory approvals, some of them through non transparent means. It says Fernandez has been called in for questioning in the case on June 6. Air Asia India has denied any allegations of wrongdoing, while Fernandez himself has not directly commented on the report. The EPF saw first quarter total investment income climb 9.2% to 12.9 billion ringgit, 61.6% of which came from equities. The value of its investment assets reached 814.4 billion ringgit during the quarter. CEO Dato Shahril Ritsa Ritswan says the fund managed to record consistent performance driven by positive growth in domestic and ASEAN markets. This was despite developed markets experiencing a decline during the quarter following the higher than anticipated inflation in the US. The EPF is, however, uncertain on the overall outlook citing increased global trade tensions and weaknesses in key emerging countries. Prime Minister Tun Dr Mahade Mohamad says the government will respect the terms of contracts inked by the previous administration in relation to mega-projects. He says Malaysia will stick to the rule of law as it reviews these deals. However, it will take a different approach if it discovers something wrong was done in a contract. He adds that Malaysia will remain a very business-friendly nation. Mahathir's remarks come on the heels of a warning by a Chinese daily to adhere to the spirit of the contract or pay the price for its error. Top at Peace said Chinese-funded projects are not a gift that Kuala Lumpur can refuse without compensation. Treasury Sekjen and 1MDB Chairman Tan Sri Dr Irwan Serga Abdullah is no longer Chairman of the Inland Revenue Board. The IRB said in a statement today that his resignation took effect on May 23rd. The position will be filled by the new Treasury Sekjen, who will be appointed in accordance with the Inland Revenue Board of Malaysia Act 1995. Irwan was transferred from the Finance Ministry to the Public Service Department three weeks ago. He is also no longer on the board of Kazana National, Bank Negara and Lembaga Tabung Haji. Malaysians can now own a Proton Saga for less than 30,000 ringgit and simultaneously contribute to Tabung Harapan Malaysia. According to Bernama, the national car maker says this is its best car offer in the past 10 years in conjunction with the upcoming Hari Raya Ideal Fitri. It is also offering price cuts for other models, such as Iris and Ertiga. The price cuts are on top of the zero-rised GST, resulting in a price drop of between 12% and 18%, depending on the car model. 10 ringgit from every car purchase will go to Tabung Harapan Malaysia, starting today till December 31st, 2018.